Welcome back to Lisa's Little Critters, and today I'm going to try to do a how-to video, and Mr. Rabbit here has volunteered. Uh, he is going to get a coat today, so I wanted to show you. I have his coat's going to be made out of felt, and I have cut a piece of felt that is two and a quarter inches wide by five and a half inches long. And that's just an approximate. It already had this curve to it, but uh, that's I'm gonna use to my advantage. So the reason you want it so wide, you wanna hold it up to your critter, okay? And you're gonna fold down what you think might be a collar like that, okay? because that's gonna determine where you're gonna put his armhole. And you're gonna feel for his shoulder right there, and I'm pinching, okay? So I have this in a pinch. Now I'm gonna get my very sharp little scissors, and you really need a pair of scissors like this. I'm trying to show you. And I'm just gonna cut a hole. And I kind of go in one way and out the other. And a hole that I think would be big enough, there we go, for his arm. Now, I'm going to put his arm in the coat so I can determine where. I'm going to fold down the collar, just like that. And I'm going to determine where his other, you keep on folding, shoulder, needs to be and again we're measuring the shoulder so once i get around to his shoulder i'm pinching again okay and i'm pinching below the collar line like i said this is fairly simple and i'm going to make a hole there we go there there's his other arm now probably you will have to Hang on, I'm fixing him up here. Put his arm back to get his thing in there. There, there he is. Now, this is what he looks like so far. He's got his little coat with his collar, and it's going to overlap, and then he's got holes for his arms, okay? Now, this coat, it looks like it's going to be too long for him. I can already see that but I'm gonna wait until I get a little further along, but I am gonna cut off some of this excess felt to get it out of my way, okay? And there we go. And uh, there, so there he is, okay? In his little partial coat, but he needs armholes, right? He needs, uh, what do you call it, sleeves. All right, so I'm measuring, again, with this extra piece of felt. You don't have to do anything fancy, but you're just going to measure around and to his shoulder again and pinch it. Okay, so I've got a piece like that. I'm going to angle down, and I'll show you once I get it open. All right, and that's what it's going to look like when it's open. It comes, it's almost like an arrow piece. All right, so now you're wondering, okay, this lady's crazy because she's already put his coat on, but literally I am going to make this coat on him. And I will show you how I do that. Let's see. Now, I tuck it in just like that under the hole in the shirt. So you just bring it around and you can actually, you see what I'm doing here? I'm pulling it up into his shoulder. Now I'm putting this back up just like that. And then I have this little piece that's gonna come around under. Remember these coats they aren't meant to come off and be played with. This is for a collector. And now all I'm going to do, if I can get my needle to behave. All right, I have a needle and thread, and I used white thread so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to go under this hole in the back 
just like that. And pull my thread, I've got a, a knot on it. And once again, actually that needed to go under. But for now, here I can use my scissors. And I'm just gonna poke this again into the hole of his shirt. So you want, there we go. Now, now all I'm gonna do here is take a little top stitch to just hold it in place. And that's all we need to do there, okay? And I might, I'll go back through and I'll knot it by going through it. You know how to do that if you do any kind of sewing or you can do this any way you want. Here, wait, I think I caught his leg. <laughs> He don't need his leg in there. All right, there we go. Now you're left, it'll look like this, okay? Then I just bring this under his arm and I'm gonna go back through. Now you can, if you desire, you can stitch all along this line, but it's really not necessary. I just usually Go under, tuck in, there. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is sew this under his arm. And there we go. And we'll take a few stitches so that it will stay. We'll catch it here, back here. Now, you notice I'm doing this in white so it shows, but I have a plan for that too because he is gonna go tubing in my winter scene. I found a little tube. I hope this is in the video. Okay, there we go. Now, that's probably all we need. Now, look at from the top and look at from the back once I get this this little threads covered and then from the front when we pull his collar down he has a coat and how easy was that now i'm going to knock this off real quick there we go all right i'm just going to take one little knot in it and push it back through, and that's all we have to do there. And I'm gonna cut it off. Now, I'll show you another little trick. If you don't wanna have to continually change yarns and blah, 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 I mean, uh, threads, if you've got marker, watch this. Just color your thread, can you see, with the marker. And down under his arm, he's got some right there and right in there. And we've colored it, and now it is the same color as his shirt. I'm going to push his sleeve up just a little bit. All right, there he goes. Now he's good. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. However... Let's see if this will do work, it might. I don't have as much felt here, but I'm gonna try to see. Ah, uh, no, it needs to go this way. And yes, it'll be fine. All right, once again, I'm gonna tuck this in under his sleeve, like that, and at the top, I'm gonna pull it up, I hope you can see. And I'm just using the tip of my scissors, but if you've got some other little tool you like to use, and there you go. All right, there's that. Now, once again, I got my needle and thread. We're gonna quickly make a knot. He's hanging out for a minute. All right, now this time, I'm gonna go way under here so that my knot will go under. I didn't do that last time. 
Okay, here we go. Now, now, we'll take a couple of stitches up here at the top of the sleeve, just like we did in the other one. All right. Like there. And right there. And you see, I kind of measure most of these clothes right on them because to me it makes more sense and I'm going to show some more um, videos okay so we've taken about three stitches there that I'll cover up with the I mean you're welcome to use blue thread and keep changing but for this video I thought it would be a little better now we're going to turn him around and this is going to come there, and we're going to go down the back so this gets hidden. Come out down here. All right. Oops. Now I think I hooked his ear and his arm. Okay, there we go. Now, yeah, now I'm going to bring this down underneath. And we're going to catch it. Just like that. Pull it in under his arm so that it'll touch. And then we're going to go back to this side. Okay, I hope... All right, and now we can take one more stitch right here and bring it together. So about three stitches in each place there. Look at that. Now, as you see up here, his little shoulder, I'm going to fix that in a minute, but right now I'm just going to knot this right off. All right. I think I'm going to take another stitch here, too, because this hole I made a little bigger. And I'm just like Bob Ross. There's no mistakes. There's only happy accidents, um, especially, you know, with something like a critter. Oh, boy, I really hooked up his ear that time. All right, now I'm just making my knot, and then we'll go around to the front and see what we can do. All right, there's my knot. Oh, yeah, there's my knot. I really knotted it that time. All right, there we go. Now, I'm gonna go back through and pull that knot with me, hopefully. There we go. All right, now, I'm gonna cut that off. Right there. All right, now, here. This is, you see where, hang on, I got my finger in the way. This is sticking out, so I need to push that in. There we go. There it is. And yes, you could sew that too, but you don't really need to. Now, we're going to pull it up and pull up his collar. So I'm just folding under the collar, okay? Okay. And there, now he's really starting to look like something. And there's his collar in the front. And at this point is when you would decide if you're going to put a button or whatever on his coat and how long to make his coat. Now, this coat, uh, to me, is way too long. So, again, right on the critter, I have... These little, they're like embroidery scissors, and they are sharp as can be. And I just follow around him. You can also make a hole for their tail, too, if you so desire. There we go. And now we're going to come around to the front on this side. Here you go. I think you can see better. All right, and now 
There. Oh, yeah, that's better. Now, there he is in his little coat. And I have a little button that I'm going to put on. You can choose to, um, like I said, you could Velcro the coat. But these coats are made really for show. Uh, I don't, you know, once they're in the, the little uh, clothes, I don't usually take them off. I have clothes, of course, critter clothes that do come on and off. And some of the critters I use it on. Now, but I would put a little, a little you could put a bow if it's a little girl or a button. And usually I would hot glue it right there, okay? But I'm going to show you one more thing. So we're not going to glue this coat on. And it should, look at that. See, it will come off. And if I had sewed all the way around the sleeve, which, like I said, you have that option to do, then you'd have a coat that came on and off and you could put some Velcro. I'm just cleaning up here a little bit, but people have asked me, how do you make a sweater out of a sock? So, here is my booty, okay? It's just a baby's booty, plain old baby's booty. Where I got this idea, I really don't know, but I started seeing booties at the outlet, and I thought, Man, those would be, that's a pretty pattern for a sweater. So all I do is I measure it on him. Now this is gonna be the collar. So once again, you see, I folded that down. So I'm just gonna cut off the sock right here at this bottom line. So there you go. We're cutting it off. And then I have something like this. And I'll put this aside because sometimes I make hats out of that. Now, on the back, I'm going to make a slit. And, of course, I wash the booties that I get, you know. Because it's going to be very similar to the coat, except it's a little bit backwards. Okay. Then, at this point, I usually will put some fray check or just plain old tacky glue, which is what I'm using in a pinch here, real quick, right along the edge, okay? And I kind of wipe it in, and that stops the fraying of the little sweater. All right, now, we got that. So here we go with him again. And we're going to fold down his collar once again, because this is even easier, if you believe it, than the other. All right, now, he's got that far. What I do is I pull this down again in a pinch, okay, where his arm is, but this time I make a little V cut. And then, okay, can you see? There's the V. I'm going to cut off the end of the V. All right, just like that, okay? And that's... His little arm is going right in there. And if you see, it kind of makes a little sleeve, which you can't get any easier than that. And you can glue that too if you want. Now I'm coming over to his other side. I'm gonna pull this down and you can kind of go by the pattern of the sweater. Okay, and figure out where you need to be. And once again, we're gonna make a V cut and then a little tip off so it's not as a V. All right, now get your arm in there. Now, here's where the easy part comes. You get, I gotta see where I have them. I have these little rubber bands that come, <coughs> excuse me, that come with, um, you know, those bracelet kits. Okay. And I will put it around his neck and catch the edge of the sweater. So now he looks like that. That's a very warm sweater. This I'm going to pull down a little bit, his little sleeves. But then I'm just going to fold that over the rubber band. And there he's got a big full collar. And in the back, really, that's all you need to do. I mean, sometimes... I will put another rubber band uh, at the bottom, around his bottom. But for him, 
that's perfect. Okay, he's he's good to go in his sweater. And I think they look adorable. I've shown you, I have another sock here that <coughs> I thought was a real pretty pattern. And uh, then you can also use the little toe of the sock right here. And let's see, I may just be able to lay it on there. I'm gonna cut it off because you know how they're they're like in a toe shaped. There we go, like that. So there you go. And then we'll put two little holes here. Now, normally I would do this a whole lot fancier, but right now I'm doing this. So I'm making the second hole about there. And now, We'll stick this over his ear and over this ear. And it's so nice that they're stretchy. And you can kind of tuck it in around his ears. Tuck it under. I usually sew it here. But looky there. If you had a different color, there he is and he's got a hat. So it's just as easy it can be, and I just love them in the sweaters. I think it's so cute and really so darn easy. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today. I hope to do some more how-to videos. If you did, please press, you know, the thumbs up button, and please subscribe and watch more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.